home again. So today I went to a coffee shop, which isn't too far away from me, and took some work. And I did some, uh, not, just, not just sketching, I took my sketchbooks though. Um, I took my sketchbooks, I took my iPad, and I did some work on the, the children's book that I was working on before I started working on my style. I kind of took a step back from that children's book because I mean, some of you will have been with me since before these daily vlogs, but some of you might have joined me recently. So uh, to fill you in, since January, I've been kind of taking a step back from my small business and, you know, making things to sell. My small business is Embers and Ink, by the way. Um, and I've been for the last, what is it now? It's August. So for the last eight months, I've been working on just developing my style, sketching every day or every day-ish and like trying to find out who my style is rather than just to see if I was drawing before in a way that I thought I should be drawing. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know what I mean. Um, so I kind of took a step back from working on the the new children's book. So my first children's book, I self-published. This book, I'm going to self-publish as well. But since the beginning of the year and working on my style and actually realising that I do have a style and I've got loads of ideas for other books and doing some illustration courses, uh, I'm going to start going down the traditional children's publishing route um, to see if any of my ideas can actually make it. But this book I'm working on at the moment, because it's from before all of that time, for a long time I was, um, because it's from before all of the the time when I've been working out my style and, and working on my own creativity, uh, I kind of distanced myself from it because I felt like it wasn't me anymore. <laughs> but it's very, very close to being done. And it would be such a shame after all of that work. I mean, just because it's not the kind of way I would do it now, it doesn't mean it's not a good book. Um, I'm not going to redo it all in the way I do it now because it's so close to being done uh, that it would be such a shame. So I'm just going to finish it off. It still is good. I mean, it still is. I'd be proud to put my name to it. I am proud to put my name to it. So I've been working on that today in the coffee shop, which has been nice. But as you can probably tell from my flushed face, it was absolutely baking in there, really hot. Um, but if you are wanting to increase like your... That's not the way to start that. If you are interested in uh, widening your horizons in terms of drawing or sketching, can I suggest going to a cafe? Because there are so many people like come through the doors. Uh, so today I drew, I drew like a cafe scene with a few people in the background as a warm up. Um, there was someone with a dog in there, so I drew the dog. I drew, I just like sketched, there was some, uh, a, a group of women in with some babies. So I was like drawing like their feet and their hands, the babies, not the women, the baby's feet, baby's hands, just getting a little bit of practice in. And it's such a lovely way, like, of just seeing life, do you know what I mean? Without, without having to like join a group or you not know, have anyone to go out sketching with or whatnot. Going and sitting in a cafe, get in the corner so you don't feel like you're being looked over your shoulder. Um, and just take your sketchbook, have a coffee, a bit of cake or whatever, and draw. No expectations, just nice quick sketches. It's amazing what you can come out with. And I didn't ever really do this before, before this year. And it's now one of my favourite things. So there you go, a little tip from me if you want to you know, improve your sketchbook is get yourself out and about. You don't need to be part of a big friend group. You don't need to be part of like an urban sketching group. I mean, fine, if you are. And just go and grab a coffee and a piece of cake and a sketchbook, sit in the corner of the cafe and draw what you see. But I'm pooped. So Rolly is very patiently waiting by the back door for his uh, little garden john. So I'm gonna go and take him outside now to get some fresh air. And that's where I'm going to leave this video. So until tomorrow, see you all.